those of you who have seen a few of my videos know that I get a lot of work out of this Evolution Rage uh, miter with a slide chop saw for cutting steel. And it works really good, but I had a chance to go to a buddy's house who had the big brother of this. And because of that, I'm gonna show you the new saw that I purchased to really help me get some more stuff finished quicker and to make sure that I have a saw to cut steel not only in my basement, but also out in my garage for when I'm doing larger things just because this does have a limited throat on it where that other 14 inch saw can cut larger material as well. But let me just tell you a few of the things that I do not like about this saw. So the first thing is the blades are expensive, but uh, this blade's lasted probably a year and a half easily, and it's still a lot of life left to it. You just gotta make sure that you follow Evolution's recommendations, but that's just kind of a small gripe. The big thing and the main reason that I wanted to get to this new saw was because the clamping on this saw is just absolutely garbage. So much so that you can see I actually threw away the clamps that came with this. And basically what they would do is there was a little pin that would sit in here and then it had just a little screw thread you could twist down and it would hold the material down this way. And the reason I don't think this is very good is because we're pushing it this way when it really needs to be pushed in towards the back side of this to keep everything square when we cut. And that's the main reason why if you watch any of my videos I actually use these big vice grips and get them underneath the frame and then I use those to hold stuff in place because even though this is not a good fix for this problem it's way better than the clamping system that came with it so with that being said let's jump out to the garage and go check out this new saw that I just bought so I can show you why I upgraded to this new evolution saw all right so here it is the evolution 14 inch metal cutting chop saw with stamped steel base this is the s355 cpsl so this is their newer version of this machine and you can see that down here and they got in a few other places as well so s355 cpsl so let's go ahead and actually get this thing open and see what makes it tick and i'll show you why i purchased this saw All right, so we got it all assembled and ready to go. So let's just take a quick walk around so I can show you some of my favorite features of this. So the first one is going to be the locking mechanism, but this is pretty common for most of these uh, portable saws. All you have to do is press down, pull this out, and it lifts up and we're ready to cut. So with that, one of the main reasons I got this is because of how thick and sturdy the clamping mechanism is on here. And we can still have the ability to cut larger material and we can adjust it from 90 to a 45 degree cut so it gives us a lot of flexibility and what we can do especially with larger uh, pieces of material one thing to note is that they give us a little card here and it might be hard to read but it says when cutting round or square tube slash box sections at 45 ensure that the rear fence is in position two or three so basically all they're referring to is this here so what you can do is, if you need to cut some 45 degrees on some of these larger pieces of tubing, one thing that's nice is this universal uh, hex for pretty much any adjustment you need to make. All we got to do is basically break this loose here. And once we break that loose, we just fully unthread it. 
and my lighting is not great in here so you have to bear with me but you can see there are one two three different spots we can put this in so it's just saying if we're cutting anything in a 45 b in position two or position three right here based on the size of the tubing so we cut all the way through it when we go for the full stroke on that chop saw so other than that my other favorite feature is that universal allen head that makes all adjustments on here and it's got a nice little housing right on the front so you should never lose it a quick change uh, clamp so going from anything small to big you just get it close pop this lever forward and then you can spin it until it puts tension on there if you want to jump it back quick you just flip it up pull it back so it makes life really easy there one of my complaints on the other saw was that there was no safety to it it was just as soon as you uh, pull the trigger and go with my uh, evolution miter saw that 10 inch i have in the basement where this one has a safety switch where you can't squeeze it unless you push this over and then you can squeeze it which will engage the saw it's also got a very nice large heavy duty plastic handle on top which is good because i think this thing weighs 50 some pounds but this does make it somewhat portable and then a 10 foot heavy duty uh plug-in cord for this which is another key thing that i like the evolution saw i have is only like five or six feet so having double that length is going to come in handy especially out here where i don't have outlets everywhere oh and the last thing that i need to show you is that it also comes with this here so the reason it comes with this is that you're going to slide this onto the saw here just like this and what this does is allows us to take uh, square tubing and put it on a diamond shape like this so we get better life out of our blade when we cut and it's super handy for cutting tubing as well so i'll just take a piece of this one and a half inch tubing that i got here and if we need to cut a length of that i can just lift up the quick extend here throw this up close pop it down tighten it down and that thing is in there solid. Let's go ahead, I'll take this outside so I don't make a big mess in my garage and I'll show you a couple cuts on this thing so you can really see why I went out and purchased this. So there you have it. You saw this thing just completely hog through that material super quick and easy. Oops, dropped one on the floor. But you can see the qu cut quality is awesome. No burr at all. Cool to the touch when we're done. And this was inch and a half tubing by an eighth inch, uh, actually 3 sixteenths wall. So I mean, that's some pretty heavy duty stuff we got here and it just hogged through like nobody's business. So. The only other thing I do want to mention if this is something you might be interested in is that if you've never used one of these saws before, they are very loud and they throw chips everywhere. So you probably saw me wearing a face shield, just my welding helmet with no welding lens in it and a pair of earplugs. So make sure you do that if this is a saw that you are going to be interested in because it does throw a lot of chips and it's very noisy. But with that, uh, just want to say thanks again for watching. If you have any comments, put them in the chat below. Otherwise, like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.